We're going to show you how to use New Mexico Library to Go on a smartphone or mobile reading device. New Mexico Library to Go is a free online consortia service provided by the Los Angeles Public Library and other New Mexico libraries that allows our patrons to download digital content such as ebooks, e audiobooks, and videos anytime from anywhere onto your mobile reading device. After this lesson, patrons will be able to demonstrate skills to access New Mexico Library to Go with their library card and digital pen, perform a search or browse for digital content, evaluate and select digital content that meets their needs, borrow the digital content and transfer to a reading device, place a hold, review loaned items, return borrowed content, and access additional help resources. Now I'd like you to go to the New Mexico Library to Go website. It's https colon forward slash forward slash nm dot overdrive dot com. Now that you're at the New Mexico Library to Go website, we need you to sign in. So on the upper right hand corner, you'll see a light blue box that says sign in. Please click on that. It'll take you to a welcome page. And first thing to do to sign in is you need to select the library that you have your library card at. So in this instance, it's going to be the Los Angeles Public Library. The other libraries in the list are part of the consortia and each purchase books uh, for you to check out on New Mexico Library to go. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to insert your library card number and your PIN. If you don't have a library card or you have don't remember your PIN or you have trouble signing in, please call the Los Lomas Public Library at 505-839-3850 and we'll be happy to help you with um, solve your issues or get a library card. So I have mine saved in my iPad, so I just have to click use my fingerprint there and sign in and it takes you to what the account looks like, or in this instance, my account. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour before we get into uh, borrowing everything. So up here along the top, you'll see subjects, collections. They have it limited to Kindle books, kids and teens. And then if you go back, you'll have travel guides here. So let's go ahead and look at these also. They also have them by grouped in the, um, by interest. So if you wanted to listen some, to some great narrators, and these are all audiobooks, you'd be able to tell this uh, because if you look at uh, this George R. R. Martin book, Fire and Blood, right, right in the center here, you'd be able to see down below that is the title and then you would see George R. R. Martin, and it's a link there to where you can go to more of his books. And then right below that is audiobook with a headset. So you'd be able to tell that's an audiobook, and all of these books are audiobooks under great narrators. Uh, you'd also be able to tell these are all in because there's a blue bar right above it. If you were to look at the kids and teens, their available would be a red bar. And for all of them, if it is checked out, it's going to have a white bar with wait list in there. So let's go through here. And here's some more that are uh, sectioned out for you by interest. So if you're interested in social justice and activism, or just, just want to see the just added books, uh, these are books that are just added to the system. Here's some summer vibes. Read White and Blue, Romantic Thrill Rides, The Case of the Checked Out Mystery, here's you some Show Yourself Some Love self-help books, Real Reads, these are movie books that were turned into movies, and then we have some Spanish Collection or Espanol. And on all of those you'd be able to click on the See All on the right hand side and see more of that uh, collection. 
So what we're going to do is I use my iPad and my Kindle reading app to read books. So we're going to look at uh, the Kindle books that are highlighted up here at the top. And you can see it's already limited to Kindle books here. And all along the side, on the left-hand side, you can limit your search even more. So over here you can see the white bar above the titles of the book jackets. And you'll see all these are waitlisted here. So I'm going to limit my search by clicking of now available now, and you'll see Kindle book availability all titles available now here on the left hand side. So if you click on available now, it's going to show you all the books that are rel that are available for you to check out. You can also see that there's a lot of um, children's books. So I read romance, so I'm going to go down here and limit it by subject, by romance. So I'm going to click on romance. Now it's going to give me these titles. And let me look at this Ellen Hildebrand, the, identical, uh, the identicals here. This looks interesting. So in the, the record itself, I would be able to look at the description. It's the instant New York Times and USA Today bestseller about two identical twin sisters who couldn't look more alike or live more differently. I can look to see when it came out. So it came out in 2017. And I can look at the reviews. And I can read a sample of the book. I believe that I want to go ahead and borrow this book. There's one of two copies available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on borrow. And it gives me a, a choice of uh, borrowing for 7, 21, or 14 days. So I'm going to choose the 14 days. And if I read it before then, I can return it. And I can show you how to return a book a little bit later. So I'm going to borrow it. And here it tells me this is checked out to me until August 9th. And I can borrow eight more titles, so that means I have some books uh, checked out because you can borrow 10 titles in um, New Mexico Library to go. So I have, I'm gonna read it now with the Kindle. And what it's doing is it's taken me to Amazon and I'm already signed into my Amazon account. And over on the right hand side, You'll see a yellow uh, box it says Get Library Book. So I'm going to click on that. And it tells me that my um, digital library book will be delivered the next time Cynthia's Kindle sinks. So let's go see if it's in my Kindle. There it is, right there. and I'm ready to go. It was simple as that. I already have it in my reader to read. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to click on New Mexico Library to go again, and this is where we were when we borrowed it. Okay, I had, um, I've been told that um, there's a book by Nora Roberts, or it's a series, it's called The Bride Quartet. So I think I'm going to look for a Nora Roberts book. So I clicked on search, and I'm going to do Nora Roberts. And you can see here that uh, there's some that are waitlisted and some are available, but I'm going to scroll down through here and just kind of look. Well, there's book one in the Bride Quartet, and it's on a wait list. So let me look at this. And before I even want to uh, look to uh, place a hold, I'm going to look right below the title, Vision in White, there's Bride Quartet book one. You can click on the series and see if they have the rest of the series. So we have, there we go, we have book one, book two, book three and book four they're all there and they're on wait list right now 
So what I can do is go ahead and go back to my Nora Roberts, and I'm gonna place a hold on that. So here I am, I had the vision in white, and your hold position is number one, and there's one copy. So I'm the next one to read that book. So I can go and look at my account over here on the right hand side, you'll see my account, and you can look at the loans, and you can see that here is my Ellen Hildebrand that I just checked out. And then I have a Susan Mallory meant to be yours that's checked out as well, but I already read that. So I'm a conscientious reader and I like to help people out. I'm going to return this book so that if there's somebody else waiting for the book, they'll be able to get it sooner. So right below in the bottom box down there, you'll see a return. You're going to click on that return and it's going to say return title. And there you go, it's returned. If you don't return it, it automatically comes off your account after the lending period is over. In my account, I can also look at my holds, and there's my vision in white. So whenever I get almost done with that, I'll probably put a hold on the other, the next one. But that is how we um, use New Mexico Library to go. If you have a different type of reader, um, you'd be able to go back, let's go back to the, the home page and go all the way to the bottom. And down here under support, you'll be able to see help. Uh, you'd be able to click on help there and it takes you to the help website. So if you have other devices, you'd be able to click on devices up here at the top. And let's say that you had a Nook it's going to show you the three different types of nooks so if we look at the nook glow light three here at the end of their statement here it says that you can learn how to get started with a nook glow light three so right here it tells you how to uh, transfer them to the compatible readers and if you had um, an Android, let's go back to devices. If you had an Android, same thing, it tells you the, the apps that you can use. So uh, you can use an OverDrive app like what we are using for um, the Android, or you can use the Kindle reading app, or uh, they have a Libby and a Sora. So if you wanted to try one of the apps that OverDrive has come up with for Libby or Sora, they have videos right here. Here's the Libby and it tells you how to use this app. Um, I've never used either one of those, but I hear great things about Libby. And let's see, there's the Sora app. This one's newer. But that is um, our tutorial on how to utilize New Mexico Library to go. And if you have any questions, um, please call the Los Angeles Public Library at 505-839-3850 and we'd be glad to help you.